What's up guys, John here, and I was doing a little bit of packing for a two week trip I'm about to take to Africa, and a lot of people have asked me what exactly I'm bringing with me in terms of camera gear on this trip. So I thought I'd do this quick video and go over what exactly I'm bringing with me. All right, first thing, the bag I travel with is the Amazon Basics DSLR laptop uh, backpack. So it has the pocket here, close to your back, for your backpack, straps are real nice, Pockets on the side, clips on the side for any sort of tripod or anything like that. And the main pocket. We have these foam inserts. Apologies for how disorganized this is right now. Uh, we have these foam inserts. You can move them around for whatever your needs are. Uh, first thing let's talk about the GoPro Hero 4. I've had this since 2015, I think. Uh, I did an upgrade to the 5. I didn't see that much huge of a difference quite yet. So we'll see what the next model of GoPro has. It's real nice just to be able to be, uh, take this anywhere and not have to worry about it so I can capture uh, footage, photos as I'm traveling around. I do have a bunch of accessories for the GoPro. First one, the GoPro 3-way. Selfie stick extends, but in a small form. Pretty much a handler, real nice. Next thing we got, GoPro wrist strap. Nice friction joint here, so it kind of stays where it is. Uh, I can anticipate using this you know, at least one time while I'm in Africa. GoPro suction cup mount, attaches to the window, real nice. If you're traveling around in like vehicles or anything like that, you can get a nice view of the outside. Here we have the GoPro quick clip. This attaches to your hat, just like this. Kind of use it as like a little head mount. I like this actually better than the head strap. The head strap kind of makes it look like a dork. Uh, now I wear hats a lot while I travel, so this works out perfectly. Extra GoPro battery and a charger. Everything I have in terms of charger is USB powered because I always have external batteries that I can just plug in as I'm traveling, switching uh, different batteries throughout the day. And lastly, Fayetech G4 3 axis gimbal for the GoPro. Uh, similar to the Karma Grip, but I got this uh, in early 2016. Really allows you to get nice stable footage with the GoPro. That's it for GoPro. Next up, we have the DJI Mavic Pro. This is the compact folded form. Fits really nice into the backpack. Very small, very discreet, as compared to the other Phantom series. Uh, so you fold out things like this, and Ready to go and fly. Really allows me to get all those uh, you know unique perspectives from the air, things like that. It's real smooth. Has own three-axis gimbal here for the camera. Still shoots in 4K, which is really awesome. Great investment. Love it. So the main camera that I actually use now is one we're filming with right here. It is the Panasonic Lumix GH5. Upgraded it. Upgraded to that uh, in spring of this year. Really nice camera. Love it a lot. It goes up to 4K at 60 frames per second. I don't normally shoot that because my computer it doesn't really handle 4K too well. But it does go up to 180 frames per second in full HD 1080, so you can get those really smooth slow motion shots. The lens that I use for the Panasonic GH5, first one we have is the Lumix 14 to 140, which on a micro four thirds camera like the GH5, is the equivalent of a 28 to 280, which is a really wide range, so it's really versatile. For the most part, I usually have this on my lens, or on my camera, sorry. Next lens we have is the Lumix 7 to 14 wide angle lens. Uh, I actually like this a lot while I travel. A lot of my photography work is wide landscapes and things like that. So this actually is a really wide lens, allows me to get most of the scene uh, in the shot as I can. So the final lens I'm bringing to Africa, one I just got, very excited about it though. This is the Sigma 18 to 35. I've seen a lot of videos online, love the results with the GH5. In order to use that, I have to have a Metabone Speed Booster. And the last camera I'm bringing with me is the iPhone 7. Sometimes it's really easy just to pull your phone out, get a couple shots. The app I use is called ProCam. It uh, allows me to control a lot of the settings on the camera and be able to get the shots uh, that I want just real fast. Sometimes if I'm specifically going to use the iPhone as a camera, I'll pull this out. This is the ShoulderPod S2. Uh, Phone clips in just like this. Screw this down. It just allows you to have more control of your phone as you're filming with it. Other things in my bag that I carry around with me, 
I have two portable battery packs. Gives me power on the go. Nothing to bring with me, just got the Zoom H1 recorder. Uh, if I wanted to get ambient noise, I want to fill out for like my different videos, this is what I'll end up using just to capture that real high quality noise. Alright, a few other accessories that I'm not necessarily going to be in my bag, but I travel with them anyway, so talk about them right now. First one is the GoDome for GoPro, uh, a company based out of South Africa, and what it does is brings the water line um, away from, further away from the lens of your GoPro so you can get a nice crisp over under shot, which is really awesome while you're in water. Also for GoPro, this is the uh, another selfie stick. It's from Evo. Uh, this extends just like this. What's really cool about this one? It's hollow on the inside, so if you're you know underwater and you were to let go of this, this would just float to the top, uh, which is really cool to not have to worry about letting your GoPro go and losing it as it sinks to the bottom of the ocean, which would be terrible. Also, I have this Joby kind of knockoff Gorillapod thing. Sometimes I'll use it as a handler uh, for, uh, for the GH5, so I can keep it away from my face if I'm doing any sort of vlogging. Also, I could set up as a little tripod, which is really cool on different terrains because the legs are fully articulated. Also, I have these just simple, soft zip bags. What I do is I'll put different accessories in different ones. Uh, it just helps me keep organized, especially if I you know, have a bunch of chargers, cables, uh, different memory cards, all that fun stuff. And lastly, I always travel with my 2013-2014 MacBook Pro. I do like to review a lot of my photos and videos while I'm traveling just to see like, you know, different shots I was getting. So I know, do I need to get more of this type of shot, more of this type of shot, especially if I have a video or different type of photos in mind. Uh, it's always nice to review and sometimes I'll do some edits while I'm on the road. Alright guys, that's it for me in terms of the gear that I'm bringing to Africa for two weeks. Quick disclaimer, this video is not sponsored by any company. All this gear that I have here, uh, I bought with my own money. Uh, it's not necessarily the best gear, uh, it's what's best for me. And this is another thing to keep in mind, it's never really about gear. When you're doing travel videos or travel photography, the most important thing is the person behind the camera. So by the time you're seeing this, I'll be on my way to Cape Town. It's a long flight from New York all the way to Johannesburg and then to Cape Town. So if you want to keep up with the trip, follow me on Instagram. Put it right here. So if you found this video helpful at all, do me a favor, give this video a like. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And I will see you next time.